everybody please I am here I feel like I have not like been present I didn't want to go this is Jaleesa's channel but I'm gonna tell you a little bit about myself I have like not been here and I feel like did y'all miss me y'all can just leave, leave it in the comments <laughs> leave it in the comments below but today we are here. We are shooting some content. Come on, everybody. Ready. Huh? Come on, everybody. And here is G. She's shooting some reels that'll come out. Of course, bomb. <gasps> How cool. Hey, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I look crazy going to fix my hair. No, you look fine, babe. Hey, y'all. So. Y'all know we told that we was shooting real. I had to go with my baby so we got to open and close the door. And it's kind of chilly in Texas and this house as well. Um, so yeah, we staged this evening. I don't, we have a full day of shooting. And we're going to a pumpkin patch. I'm excited about that. Y'all will see that. And yeah, that's it. Okay, y'all. <laughs> so, Yan is styling all the fits per use. And we're doing a black, all black lux reel. We are on set. Tasha, I just lost the love of my life. Okay, y'all. So, we just finished eating. No. I mean, wait. <laughs> we're so hungry. We just finished doing a video with Corey, and now we're about to eat because my stomach was growling the entire video. Literally the entire Very video. Very obnoxiously. So I'm gonna do that. Marika should be pulling up any second now because she said she was coming early to do a call, and then we're shooting when the kids get home from school. Yo! We gotta sit down. Corey! 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 Y'all see this? Corey! This is a problem. It's <laughs> from the stuff from Shayma's birthday. I feel like I'm European. But they make things differently so you never know. But I bought this at the beginning of the summer. This is his first time trying it on. Every time I get stuff, I open it up and I say, husband, can you try this stuff on? I got you a new shipment of clothes because who else's wife buys them whole new wardrobes every week? He just throws it in the closet and leaves it on the floor. Can you take the tag for me? It's an extra large. And children. <laughs> Thicker than a snicker. No way! It's at the Tyler section. Cooper, come here. Cooper, look. Look at me. Sit, sit, Cooper. Babe, let's go. Look at, look at my tip. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. I'm sit, 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 sit. Hello, guys. Today is Wednesday. Um, we are just getting back from lunch. I had a shoot this morning, and... Oh, my 
was saying? I had a shoot this morning, I had a few campaigns, and then I did some looks outside. taking the week off next week to like recharge and regroup and like recenter my mind before the holiday rush um the holiday time is crazy in this household not only is it insane for like from a work perspective because as an influencer the holiday time is when the brands make the most money and it's when they have all of their new launches and products and basically like anything that they miss throughout the year the how they try to make that up in the holiday time so not only is it the craziest time from a career perspective because it's campaigns on campaigns and brands wanting to do the absolute most with every single thing that they do, um, but also it's my favorite time of the year, favorite time of the year because it's Thanksgiving and Christmas, etc. But it's also Christmas, Corey's birthday and Harper's birthday back to back each the 25th, 26th, 27th. Um, so I have an absolutely crazy season. We had to cancel pretty much everything last year because of COVID. And this year, not am I trying to, I'm not, I'm not just trying to make it up just for the sake of making it up, but I feel like we have a lot to celebrate as a family. So I'm trying to make sure that we actually enjoy this season and we actually celebrate life and being alive because not one, not everybody made it, but two, we didn't get to last year. So I feel like it's my job to make sure that you know, we enjoy this season because of how hard it was last year and because of the year that we had. I feel like the fact that we made it this year, we had another baby, Zuri is here, she is healthy. We had an amazing birth, um, life happened and we survived it. We've had a lot of like random things thrown at, the, thrown at us this year that we would have never in a million gazillion years thought that it would happen to us. Um, just the most off the wall things that you guys would have never imagined. Um, and we've survived it. So I feel like we have a lot to, to celebrate. I'm also gonna be 30. I have been looking forward to being 30 since I turned 25 and younger. Um, 30 is just has always been a year of like, that's gonna be a good year for me. That's gonna be a great year. That is something to celebrate. I'm so excited for the 30s in general. And I've heard nothing but my friends like raving about 30s in general. Um, so I'm really excited about that, but I just feel like overall we have so much to celebrate So needless to say I'm gonna take the week off so you guys will get a vlog this coming Sunday It's Wednesday you guys will get one this Sunday, but you will not get one the following Sunday because I'm not vlogging next week I am going to rest and Be with my family and be alone and enjoy just solitude um, Before the holiday season also because we're doing vlogmas which means a video every single day for the month of December while we're dealing with everything else, campaigns and family birthdays and all that stuff. So, I am taking a week off to really get my head on straight and like prepare for that season. Um, I'm not nervous about it, I'm excited about it, but I also know it's gonna be a lot at the same time. So, that's what's going on. Um, again, we just went to lunch, we had shoots the last couple of days so that I could build up content so that you guys don't see like it doesn't feel like I'm taking the week off. Um, also because we have brand things that need to go live next week. Um, so I'm not, Cooper, don't eat that, son. You're gonna get sick, come here. Um, you guys are gonna see things going live, but I'm not actively shooting. Um, so everything has already been shot. We have to turn it into the brand. They have to give us our approvals and edits and things. And then we have to go live with it probably next week or the week after. Um, 
but I wanted to make sure that I could actually rest my mind because that's the biggest thing for me right now. I could be sleep, but if or like I could be like not working, but if I'm not if my mind doesn't feel rested, it's pointless. I might as well get up and work, which is why I do that a lot. I'll be like, oh, I'm taking the day off, but if my mind doesn't calm down, I literally get up and start working because I'm like, this is stupid and pointless. I might as well make some money or do something because I can't quiet my mind. And I think, honestly, that's my goal for next year. So everyone was asking like, what are your goals for your 30s? What's your goal for 2023? My goal for next year is peace and less anxiety. I think this year has been probably the most anxiety I've I've had and like suffered with um, not only because I was pregnant the first half of the year and we were sick the entire first half of the year I had COVID I had pneumonia I had cold after cold for the first six months of the year while being pregnant while you know Harper was dealing with getting adjusted to school and while us dealing with you know hiring on and firing and doing all this stuff like basically getting our home readjusted to our business and life so I was dealing with all of that while being sick at the same time and it was just like so much. Um, but I feel like I was down bad <laughs> and probably complaining necessarily. Like I'm not saying like, because people are like, oh, you complain so much. Well, this is real life and I'm sure you complain in real life. So I'm not gonna soup up these vlogs to not be reality because everybody goes through stuff no matter where you are in life, no matter how much money you have, how much money you don't have. You go through things in life and this is probably your real life so i'm not gonna be like oh let me make the vlogs be all happy go lucky and that's not real life no i'm stressed out i'm complaining and that's my life if you want to see something else see somebody fake about life being perfect go to a different vlog anyways um that being said i do feel like the majority of the year i was down bad i was sick the majority of the year i was pregnant and just over it the majority of the year and I'm ready to just like live in the enjoyment phase like I know everything's not gonna be perfect but I'd rather not add additional things that I don't have to go through to my life um, so I think for me just figuring out what this peace look like what type of stressors are triggering me to not feel peace what type of things are making me not sleep at night and make my mind wonder what am I thinking about when I, my mind should be shut down and it's not, I think that's where I'm actively seeking right now this last half of the year so that next year I can correct it. So is it work? And if it's work, what are those specific things um, that are causing me stress and causing me, you know, to not feel at peace like it should? Obviously with the kids, it's not much I can do because they my kids. So there's no eliminating that stress, but just figuring out how, you know, I can manage it better and how I can eliminate other things so that the stress with the kids doesn't affect me as much. Um, so that's kind of where I am. And next week is gonna be a full admin week for everybody so that we can all recharge and rest um, prior to the new year. And yeah, that's what's going on. I'm excited about the, the end of the year. This is always my favorite. Sorry, it's, truck it's trash day. So the trucks are really loud. Um, the, what, what was I saying? I'm excited about the end of the year because it's always my favorite time of the year and anytime that I can like do more and be more for my family I like I'm just ecstatic so I can't wait to shower them with all the things that they've been wishing and praying for all their lives or not all their lives that's dramatic this year so like gifts and things that I just know will make them happy um, I can't wait to celebrate Corey and Harper for their birthdays I can't wait to celebrate myself for being 30 and going on a trip with my friends and having a dinner and taking my shop on a shopping spree because that's what I'm doing. Um, so I'm excited about all that, but needless to say, I feel great and God has been good and he got us through this year to make it to Q4. So I'm excited about celebrating and dancing our way out. Okay guys, so long story short, I made a new recipe on Sunday, it's Wednesday. I made a new recipe on Sunday and I never vlog or, look at my skin, oh my goodness. I never vlog or record the first time I make a recipe because, Cooper, out before you get sick, son, out. Um, because I never know how it's gonna turn out and I don't wanna like vlog this whole thing and make it a thing and then it turn out trash. 
so I didn't do it. Long story short, I killed it. And everyone literally scraped the bottom of the pan. Literally. Literally. And I'm making it again um, because I have a staycation this weekend. Hold, please. Baby, they can hear me over the water. Um, thank you, though, for caring. Um, I'm going on a staycation this weekend, and I wanted to leave them with something that they can like eat for more than just one day. So I'm making that for dinner tonight. Our nanny is staying the night, so I want to make sure she can eat. She's Caribbean. She likes spicy stuff, so I'm hoping that she likes this. And yeah, so I'm cooking that. And I also just enjoy cooking in general, and I'm trying to get back to like the things that I originally or that originally once brought me joy that I stopped doing because of life happening and not having the time. So my mom is here with Hart playing with her upstairs. Our nannies with Zoo upstairs are all playing together. Corey's feeding Coop and then going upstairs with the kids where I can have peace of mind and cook. But you can hang out with me if you want, boo. As long as they're okay, I really don't mind. Um, do you see my skin? What you mean, glowing? Might want to check the lighting on the camera. Might be too bright for him. Yeah, might hurt them with my glowing skin. <laughs> That's why I married you, you know? Yeah. You know how to gas me up. Did you get my daughter her bottle? Yes, I did. You want to start it? Okay, that's what's going on. So I'm making the stuff and doing everything. I don't follow the way that I do things because I've been cooking for a long time, so I do a lot of things probably not technically safe to do, but I know what I'm doing, but don't assume the same for yourself unless you've been cooking. Because I probably should have used scissors to open that. I also want to mention, when I make recipes, ah! when I make recipes, ah! I am, um, the first time I follow the instructions all the way, if I do it right, then I suck it out and make improvisions for the second time around. So, don't hold me to however this turns out. But like, regardless, it's gonna be good, but I just wanna put that out there. Because, I'm supposed to be using chicken broth, but I don't have enough chicken broth, so for half of it I'm doing, uh-oh, beef broth. Okay, so if you guys haven't seen previous vlogs, um, you know that I, you know that I once said that I, like cooking is like my thing, um, and we're even growing up, like as a young girl, Oh man, even as a young girl, it was something that like relaxed me and like calmed my nerves and did all that stuff. Um, but obviously growing up, life happens and you just don't do, do the things that like once brought you joy. And right now as a mom of two under two, I'm trying to like get back to that. So being able to do it and I realized the only reason why I have not enjoyed it is because I'm usually rushing. Like I'm usually like, let me scramble up and make something quickly for dinner, to where it just takes the fun out of it. Like it's just not fun anymore. Um, so I'm trying to get back to that, so that I could also just have something that's not a chore. Like I don't want it to be a chore because I enjoyed it so much before, and even now when I do have the time and I'm able to take my time, it feels good. It feels relaxing. It feels calming and I just like go into like another zone cooking. Um, so I'm trying to get back to that, so that's what's happening. Hello guys, excuse the way I look. I really just rolled out of bed and asked the girls, <laughs> I was actually under the covers, and asked the girls if they would come to the mall with me because we, when is this vlog? vlog, vlog? No, nope, we have a trip. We coming. have a trip coming up. We're going on a brand trip, and Sorry. I'm really excited about it. Project manager over here. We yeah, Shayma said we person. cannot <laughs> say anything. Um, we have a trip coming up, and it's happening very quickly. So I realized I'm not gonna have time to go to the mall. So I was like, on the one day that we don't have anything to do, like shoot wise, because I had a shoot today, but yesterday was just kind of a zoo. So I was too tired, my body hurt, and I was like, cancel everything. 
we have admin work we can do like from the couch but then we actually locked in a brand trip and i was like Ooh, well, we actually need to go to the mall because i have nothing to take because i want to be like cute and like feel comfortable in my clothes like i don't want to try to make something make fetch happen with what i have especially because it's chilly there so i really like i live in texas so i don't have a lot of like warm like clothing that's also cute and a vibe and where i currently am in life right now if that makes sense um so went to the mall to meet with kendra the scammer kendra is like what do we call her personal shopper stylist type person anyway she locates all the designer stuff that we want and finds it from wherever it is in the world um she worked at farfetch and now she's at neiman doing the same thing so now we can actually go into the store to see her and i call her a scammer because she scams us into buying everything 